Walking the Boogeyman is about a, a, a true story about an investigative journalist who was plotting the murder of the man who raped him when he was seven years old. Marcus Potter, who's our director, was so taken with this story that he contacted him and they, they, they actually wrote a play about it. It's, it's a very powerful piece. The first time I read the script for Stalking the Boogeyman, I finished it. My mind had gone to places that I and had thoughts that have never entered my, my head. I have never read anything as brutally honest and unfiltered. I was lucky enough in the States to have heard the very first radio broadcast of This American Life, which is an American public radio program where Stalking the Boogeyman was told by the journalist, David Holthouse. And later on when the director, Marcus Potter, called me because she's a friend, we've worked together before. We're doing a table read of a new play. I said, it's called Stalking the Boogeyman. And I said, stop, you go no further. I know exactly what it's about. One of the greatest things about this play is that when the curtain comes down, the conversation that it will spark and the debate and the questions that it will force people to ask themselves and each other is probably the most important thing about theatre. This is something that society, the world over, really needs to address. In order to stop this from happening, we need to talk. We need to not be embarrassed or, or feel awkward by it. It's time to break the taboo of silence. Hopefully this story gives voice to the voiceless.